Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be working on mounting the M90 on the inline 6 4 liter in my Grand Cherokee. Now, before I work on it, I'm going to clean it up a bit. What I like to do is throw this tire cleaner at it. Come on. And I usually leave it running so you know when you killed it. I kind of expect it to start missing where that plug wire is messed up. But tire cleaner, it's car wash. Give her a good douse of that and then wash it off with the eye. Makes it much easier, much easier to work on. And for me, the smell is nostalgic. And if you're done with your tire wash, give it a rinse. It won't be perfect, but it'll be a lot easier to work on, a lot cleaner. Well, this might be a little loud. Neighbor started a fire behind our house, but. I'm gonna get these off of here and get this out of the way, or take the belt off, get this out of the way so I can set the supercharger in there and just kind of get an idea of what I need to order for brackets before I take all this stuff off permanently. And when I bought it, the guy said heat works great, AC works great. I don't see how, there ain't nothing in it. But anyway, we'll get that off. There it is just sitting in there. With some work, it should work. I'm gonna have to go ahead and take the dryer out, or I guess what that's called. I'll get that out of the way. It's close to the distributor, but but it's not that bad. So I think I'll be able to use those four bolts and then have a, a plate just go to the back, just straight back. There's one hole in the center up front, and then there's two in the back. I'm sure it's going to take some work, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, something I might look into for a little more clearance is to see if they make a crab cap for these, because that, that would put the terminals out even lower and make it easier. Because I think once this is out of the way, that's what it's going to hit next, or it's going to be really close without having to get a really thick plate and cut it out somehow so it has clearance down there and then still be hard to work on it. So, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. And pull it off forever. With that out of the way, we're looking a little better. We're still, we're gonna be tight there. Let's see, it still needs to tilt up in the front a bit. And, uh, I mean, the whole thing's going to be raised up a little. It's not just going to sit down because of this. Where that bolt's at, the plate will be here. And then there'll be standoffs holding the blower up off of the plate. At all, in all three corners, or, you know, front and sides. So I've marked this where the end of the bolts are, you know, roughly. There and there with the tape. So I can pull this out of the way and... I didn't find a bit, almost had a big enough piece. This one's close, it's not wide enough. It might be wide enough here. I'm probably gonna cut this and weld some ears on. For now, at least, you know, make a template, play around for the final product. But usually once something works, it's on there forever till it breaks. But regardless, this is what I'm gonna try to use for my template slash uh, permanent blower mount. So I'm gonna get the blower off of there and Get to making a plate. It's kind of hard to see, but I got that one marked. That one marked right there, and this one marked right here. This one a little in front of that one. That's the one I couldn't get. As of right now, I'll probably weld something to it, because it's right on the edge. Like, the hole would be right there. And I may not worry about it at all, since this is a prototype. I may cut it off right here, and then we'll call that access to get to the nut that's going to be on the bottom of this. Because the only way it's going to work if I thread it is if I get a piece a lot thicker than that. And I don't... This, I mean, this might be fine, but if I could put a nut under it, that'd be fine too. So we'll get these drilled. Plate drilled. Plate's on there. I, uh, I missed a little bit, but that's alright. Now you can see this towel. It's just enough. Just enough not to freaking make it. And, uh... It's tight on these, but the bolt's going to go about right here, so I'll be able to notch this out where that wire is, so it shouldn't be a problem. The other bolt's going to be about here, 
So I'm going to have to clean this up and take the other piece I cut off up here and weld it over here. Maybe. But I'll set the blower up there and look at it. Maybe I can get the front hole and get some bolts in water, get a bolt in the washer stacked up. Or nuts or what. It's probably going to be like that tall to touch it. See if I can't get it kind of half, half bolted on there. That's how far the, the standoff is from the plate. So I'll have to stack something up just a little higher than that to start with. And then I can get it level in the back. I'll have to scoot it over a little bit to hit the edge of the plate. I'll have to do something with the... I mean, that kind of works. But that hose is awfully close. This will be tilted... Yeah, about right there. It's not sitting too crazy right now. I don't know what I'll... I don't know what I'm going to do with the hose. Because I can't scoot it over. This has to be facing up. If I mount it any other way, the pulley gets higher and that's not going to work. And I can't... This is the outlet. So if it was over here... It would almost work if I had an intercooler and some way to run the pipes. I could probably, I could probably do that. There's, there's enough room for a small intercooler. I thought about having this here and the pipe that just goes over. I thought about maybe something like a Subaru having an intercooler right here, just a small one, and maybe a little cowl or scoop or something to pull air through it. But I might have to readdress that. If I could turn this sideways, I could use weld another plate to this and bolt it this way. But hood clearance is going to get tighter and tighter. So I guess I'll keep moving forward with this. If it doesn't work, we'll look at it again and figure something else out. The plate almost drilled the size right there. It takes a bolt this size. Now, I don't have the bolt for this thing here, so to keep moving forward for today... I'm going to shove this in here. I'm going to cut the head of this off and I'm going to weld it, the rest of the bolt, to the end of this. I would not trust it for longevity, but it's enough to mock this thing up. Because if I can get it bolted down good enough, I, can, I think the belt might actually fit, maybe. And I'll hook that thing up and we'll hear it whine this out for just slamming on the table that's as bad as it is that'll work it's in it sticks past just enough to get the nut on it so that's enough for testing also doesn't snap immediately but it should hold pretty good I had a problem one of my holes ended up being right on the corner here it ended up being needing to be right there so I just went and added a bunch of filler rod or just, just built it up with wood. So I just got to grind it down, mark it again and drill it. And that'll have two holes done and then I just got to figure out this one that's over here. There. It's on there. Good. It's enough to try it. Now I got to find a belt that fits. I was kind of hoping the factory one would, but hmm, I doubt it. But we'll find out. By that much. I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow, though. We're about to see what happens. I went and got a belt that fits. I got some, some non-welded together bolts. There's one here, one here. I still got to make the plate, you know, get a new plate and add that one. But it, it it's solid enough, so I'm not worried about it. But uh, now we got to fire it up and see if the belt stays on there. Time for round one. Sounds good in here too, but 
cluster quit working. It worked all the way home yesterday. I'm assuming I got some water somewhere I shouldn't have when I washed it yesterday, but hell, I've drove this thing through mud puddles and big ass puddles and got all kinds of wet. Figured it would've already done this, but I'll just have to trace that down and fix it too. That's gonna be it for this video. I've still got a lot of, I still gotta make a crossover pipe. I'm probably just gonna make a pipe for now, build an intercooler later. And I've also got to build the inlet. I have to build the tube to come around, put a filter over here somewhere. But all that'll be in the next video. Well, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.